Hello Internet and welcome to another tutorial video for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Now today we'll be talking about raiding, specifically if it's better to go out looting during the day or if you should wait until nighttime. Now we'll talk about the pros and cons of each and I'll tell you how I generally handle things. Now ultimately though I won't actually tell you what to do in this episode because both are viable options and which is better will depend on your current situation. So what do I mean when I say night raiding and day raiding? Well a huge part of Cataclysm is is going out and looting nearby locations. Now most of the time you'll be looking for items in the world instead of trying to make them all yourself. The process of going out to loot is generally referred to as raiding. If you wait until dark then that would be night raiding and daytime obviously that means during the day. Now in general, the community recommends that new players start by raiding at night. I personally did this a lot when I first started playing, but I don't actually think this is very good advice. Nowadays, I almost exclusively raid during the day. That doesn't mean that it's always the right or wrong choice though, and again, it depends on your situation. So let's talk now about the pros and cons of night raiding versus day raiding. So first, let's talk about nighttime, I guess that is generally what people recommend. Now the pro here is that enemies will not be able to see you from far away. This allows you to slip by without getting into combat. Although there are some enemies that see extremely well in the dark, most of the zombies don't, so you're much less likely to get approached by them. And to be honest, I'm sitting here thinking about other pros, but that's really it. That's all I can think of. Night raiding allows you to sneak past enemies because they have a limited vision radius, which may allow you to access locations that you wouldn't go to during the day when they'd be able to spot you. I mean, I guess that's really it for, for night raiding. That also helps you to slip away from enemies once you encounter them, but that's the same pro, really. Now let's talk about the drawbacks. Now the main problem with night raiding is that even though enemies cannot see you, you also cannot see them. So you have no idea if there is a giant horde of enemies right outside of your vision radius. Most of the time you will spot an enemy at the same time that they are able to spot you. So you won't be able to prepare for any given encounter. Now this can also lead to problems because if you get spotted by an enemy and you get into combat, you will be making noise which will draw other nearby enemies towards you. And since you can't see, you have no idea how many of them there are until they're on top of you so that really limits your ability to retreat. Now another con that's tangentially related to that is that you just can't make very much noise. Using a gun while night raiding is a terrible, terrible idea because you have no idea what enemies it will draw to you. You should be very reluctant to use a gun or a grenade in this situation and because of that your ability to fight is pretty hampered. This is especially difficult later in the game because some of the heavily evolved enemies are best dealt with using firearms. Now another con is that because it's dark, your map will not be revealed the way it would be in the daylight. Normally, as you move, the map around you is revealed, but when it's dark and you're exploring, the radius is much smaller, and depending how far you push, you might find that literally the only tile being revealed on your map is the one you're standing in. And then the final con is what I would, well actually, I mean I don't know what to call it I guess. But basically when you travel in the dark you will often end up with zombies following in your wake. The path that you take to a location may be easy and safe, but on the return trip you will find zombies standing around the path you'd previously taken. I believe this is because enemies will move towards you as you travel and then stick around due to the scent trail that you leave behind. You will very often find more enemies on the return trip than you would on the initial walk across town. Okay, but now let's talk about day raiding. Now the pros of day raiding is, I mean, it's pretty obvious. The main one is that you can actually see where you're going. This allows you to spot enemies from further away and make good choices based on monster density. This is especially crucial for new players because they don't really have the game experience that lets them know which locations are dangerous and which are safe. New players seem to think that if you can see an enemy, they can typically see you. And although this is sometimes the case, most enemies cannot see as far as the player can in the daylight. So, if you're cautious, you will often spot them at the edges of your vision before they get eyes on you. You will still need to peek around corners, of course. Uh, walking around a corner would expose you to things that might be within that sight radius. Don't Another pro of being out in the daylight is that you will be able to use loud weapons. There's always risk associated with making a lot of noise, but doing so in the daylight is much safer since you will see other enemies that are being drawn towards you. And because you can see, you will know which direction is safe to retreat. But let's talk about the cons now, and there's really only two that I can think of. The first one is that stealth is much harder during the daylight hours. It is possible though, and with the crouching movement mode, you can move from cover to cover and stay mostly out of the enemy's line of sight. However, it's obvious 
obviously much harder when most enemies can see 20 plus tiles in daylight as opposed to just three or four in darkness. And then the other con is that you will often find yourself completely clearing an area. If you night raid, you might be able to slip into a building, grab loot, and slip out again. In the daylight though, approaching a location may require you to clear most of the nearby enemies so that you can safely enter the building. This is obviously more time consuming and depending on your current HP, that might not be something you want to do. But those are the basics of day slash night raiding. People always recommend that new players loot at night, but I would offer some pushback on that. In my opinion, day raiding is much safer because of the things that we just talked about. Being able to see your enemies and plan how to handle them or any given situation is incredibly valuable. Once you begin gaining game knowledge and you learn which locations are the most dangerous, it becomes a little bit easier to move around in the dark. But there will still always be enemies in the street and in places you would not expect them. Now for these reasons, my recommendation to new players is to loot during the day. It is too easy to be surprised and overwhelmed when you're moving around in the dark. I recommend that you approach locations carefully, keep enemies at the edge of your vision radius where they can't see you but you can see them, and then approach until one or two of them see you and back off, letting them come towards you. You kill those enemies and then repeat this uh, kiting or pulling process. This brings enemy clusters down into manageable chunks and allows you to kill them. Loot and pulp the bodies when you can and then retreat if you pull too many at once. Having so much vision during the day allows you to do this, something that's really not possible in the dark. And if you are low on HP or if you're struggling with a weapon that is subpar and you, you know, want to avoid combat, then night raiding might be the way to go. However, in my opinion, in these situations, it would be better for you to stay in your base until you heal or work to address your weapon problem, things like that. I would not night raid even in that sort of situation. Now, the only time that I move at night in the game is when there is a distant location that I want to creep to. Oftentimes, it would be very tedious to clear a path all the way across town or a few blocks or, or whatever, and so sometimes I will choose to go there in the darkness. However, I view this as extremely dangerous, and honestly, I usually end up overextending. In fact, as of the time of this video, my last Let's Play of Cataclysm on the channel ended when I pushed across town in the dark and then was murdered on the trip home. If you're going to explore at night, you should strive to be as quiet as possible. Be wary even when you're backtracking over areas that you've already been. Since you haven't fully cleared them, it is always possible that other enemies will have appeared and could possibly be surrounding you. Anyway, I'm sure people will disagree with me, but I think day exploration and looting is objectively the best option. However, again, this does depend on your situation. If, for example, you come across a pair of light amplification goggles, it may be in your best interest to explore at night rather than in the daytime. You will have a significant advantage over enemies, which can only see three or four tiles, and with the light amp goggles, you can see much further than they can. It's still not as good as seeing them in the daylight and being able to see really far, but the benefit is that they can't really see you. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I don't know if I did a good job explaining my stance on this or not. I just want people to understand that even if an experienced player tells you to do something, there are often still drawbacks on that. Night raiding is very viable, but it is still dangerous. I find that a lot of new players hear the recommendation to explore at night, and they don't understand that there's still significant drawbacks to doing so. And again, I personally find day raiding to be the safer option. So I think that is it for the episode. Hopefully I gave you some insight into something that the community kind of talks about a lot. Remember that the best option for you may not be the same as how I choose to play. And yeah, if I can leave you with anything, I would say that you should try both and figure things out for yourself. A lot of new players are afraid to go into town during the daylight hours, but if you do it cautiously and you pay attention, you can do just fine. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you and I'll be back with more tutorials in the near future.